How does culture influence the perception of sexuality? What are the common challenges women face regarding their ability to reach orgasm? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Culture influences the perception of sexuality by establishing sexual norms, values, and taboos. Cultural beliefs can affect attitudes toward sex, the expression of sexuality, and expectations in relationships. Common challenges include social pressure, lack of self-awareness, self-esteem issues, and a lack of communication in the partnership. Intimacy favoring positions. Some women prefer positions that promote greater intimacy and skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as full body embrace or the lotus position, allowing them to feel more emotionally connected with their partner. In Japan, sex education tends to be more focused on biology and reproduction, with less emphasis on emotional aspects and interpersonal relationships. However, due to easy access to online pornography, many young people obtain information about sex from non-educational sources. Kama Sutra in Music Some song lyrics and music videos make references to the Kama Sutra, using its concepts and positions as metaphors for sensuality and passion. Key Communication Open and honest communication is fundamental in open relationships to avoid misunderstandings and strengthen trust between partners. Lasting Memories Memories of satisfying foreplay can linger long after the sexual encounter ends, strengthening the emotional bond and keeping the spark of passion alive in the relationship. In some Latin American countries, sex education remains a taboo subject due to cultural and religious influences. However, there are growing movements to integrate it into school curricula as a way to address issues such as teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. Leather and latex fetishism. This fetish involves an attraction to the use of leather, latex, or vinyl garments, either as a form of dress in sexual contexts or as part of specific role-playing scenarios. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Masturbation and body exploration. Masturbation can be a powerful way to explore and understand female anatomy, allowing women to discover what types of stimulation are most pleasurable for them. Masturbation and emotional well-being. Masturbation can help women feel more confident, better understand their bodies, and develop a more positive relationship with their sexuality, contributing to emotional well-being. Masturbation and Partner Communication Openly discussing masturbation with a partner can foster greater understanding, trust, and emotional connection in the relationship. Masturbation During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation in the elderly Masturbation is not limited to young women. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as part of their sexual life and overall well-being. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common and healthy sexual practice that can help explore one's own body, relieve stress, and improve sexual self-esteem. It is a normal part of human development and is not associated with negative health effects. Medications and side effects. Some prescribed medications, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, and medications for high blood pressure, can have side effects that include erectile dysfunction. In some Middle Eastern countries, safe and anonymous online spaces and mobile applications are being created to provide sexual education to young people, overcoming cultural and religious barriers related to access to information. Muscle training. Some men may benefit from training the pelvic floor muscles, such as Kegel exercises, which can strengthen control over ejaculation by improving bladder retention capacity. 
need for clear boundaries. Establishing clear and mutually agreed upon boundaries is essential in open relationships to avoid misunderstandings, conflicts, or emotional wounds. Open communication about desires, needs, and expectations is fundamental. Non-physical contact. Foreplay. Foreplay doesn't always involve direct physical contact. Women can enjoy more subtle foreplay, such as sending flirty text messages, exchanging seductive looks, or sharing sexual fantasies, which can increase anticipation and desire. Oils and lubricants. Using oils and lubricants during foreplay can not only make the experience smoother and more enjoyable, but also help prevent discomfort or pain during penetration. Open communication. Open and honest communication with a partner is crucial for discovering and satisfying each woman's sexual preferences. Discussing what is enjoyed and what is not, as well as trying new positions together, can strengthen the connection and intimacy in the relationship. Oral transmission. Although less common than vaginal or anal sexual transmission, some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, can be transmitted through oral sex, emphasizing the importance of using protection during all forms of sexual activity. PC muscle exercise. Regularly practicing exercises to strengthen the pubococcygeal, PC muscle, can help some men improve control over ejaculation. Physical exercise and erectile function. Regular physical activity and aerobic exercise can improve erectile function by enhancing cardiovascular health and increasing blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Podcasts and radio programs. There are radio programs and podcasts that address topics related to the Kama Sutra, offering debates, interviews, and advice on sexuality and relationships based on its principles. Pornography and freedom of speech. Pornography raises debates about freedom of speech and the limits of what is considered protected speech, generating discussions about individual rights and social responsibility. Pornography and sex education. There are debates about whether pornography should have a role in sex education, as some argue it may provide misleading or unrealistic information about sex and relationships. Power and submission fantasies. Many people have sexual fantasies involving power and submission roles, where they enjoy assuming control or being controlled in the bedroom. These fantasies can range from soft scenarios to more intense BDSM practices. Prevention and lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, avoiding smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption, can help prevent erectile dysfunction and promote overall sexual health. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.